This is how you properly frame out a window. From start to finish, this took us about three hours to do. First, I'm going to show you how we did it. Then I'm going to tell you everything that went into it and explain it. And to make things more fun, this is the only saw that we used.
All right, so now that our window is done, let me explain all the components to this. So we have two bottom plates here. One is pressure treated because it's right up against our block work. And to kind of help it out, what I did is I put that seal gasket there as well. This way there's a little bit of room there and it's not directly touching it, uh, your, your cement, because it's kind of could cause to other issues that I don't want to avoid. There's absolutely no issue with having it there. It can only help. Then we have our just regular KD, uh, two, KD means kiln dried which is dried uh, lumber and our wall is uh, two by six. So now that we have that plate, we have our two corners. We have one there and we have one here. So that's holding up the house. So that weight is coming from the house down through these studs into these bottom plates and then into our wall. But my wife, Catherine, wanted this massive 60 by 42 window. So the studs that would have went here, we had to take out which means then we have to build this type of bridge to then take all this weight and then move it to the sides and then into our block wall. This is called a header. So the header is what takes all of that weight from there and disperses it. We did a two by 10 three piece header with one inch piece of foam in the middle, which actually worked out really nice because then we have a true five and a half inch dimension here which kind of helps with everything plus now all that cold temperature that's on this side has some insulation to fight through if it wants to make out or kiss this warm insulation on the other side this way there's no direct contact between that because if you look at this huge surface area here that's a that's about four square feet of uninsulated basically wall that we don't want to have in our basement then we have this stud right here that's called the king stud and the king stud goes from our top plate all the way down and then to the bottom basically it's just another stud under it now we have the supports for our for our header typically on a smaller just regular window you have one support stud and it's called a jack stud but because this is a big big window we're going to beef it up and do two jack studs if you can avoid doing that, then you should, because then again, with the insulation reasons, you don't want to have as much lumber as you can. But because it's a 60 inch window, we were advised to add two jack studs. Then we have this bottom plate or our sill plate for the window. So the window sits right on there. And then we have our cripple studs right here. These don't really bear any weight except the weight of the window, but they're kind of there to be able to frame this out. That's all that's to it. Uh, it's pretty simple to do. You just got to take your time with it. If you guys have any questions or you don't agree with my method for it, let me know in the comments.